Hello and welcome back. Our plan of world domination is coming to a close as 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 far as the dwarven tunnels are concerned. I know we have a lot more ahead of us. And I'm not exactly sure what kind of talents I can go with. I might want to go for the big skull fall uh, spell. And it seems like the ire is gonna be... No, no, no. The conjure shadows is gonna be uh, just like summoning a guy. I'm not super into that. Because that's like losing people or maybe like not even showing up with the full team. That's just crazy. Uh, I think just mostly about losing minions. Uh, I think we're just gonna go and head for the Skullfall. Maybe just go and Hail of Thief and that's how we're gonna go. Uh, for now. So, we are kind of set up. Getting more vampires would be nice. I actually don't have a bunch of wounded guys. But we need someone as a position too. In our team. Can we, it be the Banshee? Every time I take a Banshee as a position too, uh, she doesn't deliver. But we don't have too many other choices here, other than maybe taking a Dark Knight. I think we just take Banshee as a position too, and she's gonna get banged up. Wait, what we got here? Uh, to the dungeon? Yeah, it's gonna be a fight. Maybe it's gonna Dark Knight 4. He's gonna take some damage, most likely. And we're gonna have the Dark Knight 6 for the big fight. Right? How stuff is this fight? It's actually gonna be a pretty tough fight. Maybe I should use a uh, consumable for it. Doesn't I don't have to go crazy about it, but maybe something. Each enemy that fled? Uh, I don't know about that. Oh! Oh! All enemies lose uh, one block and ward. That should be good. Uh, I'll just head out. Yeah. Squad 1. Who else? Oh no. Banshee, you need to get back. So, because they lost some uh, blocks and wards, we can actually hit the Heavy Fire Thrower, who has pretty high armor, but not so much. Yeah, Mocking Slap would not work so well on him. Can do a Spine Bomb. I was pressing the wrong button. Pretty high sanity. Look at this. This is 200 IQ. Berserker. So smart. Uh, I'll just try to take out the heavy flamethrower guy. I, I really want to take out the oracle. Actually, I, I, I had the chance to... Uh, yeah, I, I could have just pinged off the shield of the oracle. That's what I should have done. The Oracle needs to die. That mark is stupid. Double damage. Okay, we can go for a big stun here. Oh, he has a ward? Oh yeah, of course. The ward! Defends against the ultimate. Right. That's not always the case. He's gonna skip the turn. He's gonna take a crap ton of damage. He has the stupidest armor. But the Berserker doesn't have armor. Which is pretty nice. I think we just need to pop off the armor of the have Oracle. A warm end, my friend. And there's not much we can do here. Other than maybe... Hail of Thief, we have that too. Damn. Dark Cleansing to get mana or just regular damage. I just tried to take out the Berserker with regular damage. Oh, what? Uh, sure. Debuff them. 
Um, I would like to hit the Oracle, but I think we need to hit the Oracle. The Oracle needs to die. Stop marking. It's bullshit. Okay, just moving around. Oh, that sucks. This guy's so annoying. We need we need a way to interrupt stances. Fate within flames. Okay. Uh, we can wait and make sure she gets it. Okay, fine. Oh. The Oracle needs to die. She's just too damn annoying. Yeah, very tanky boy. Uh, maybe we should do a magic damage trap. Have a little tingle up your spine. But what the hell do we do? I can just go back. I can just go for a hit. But I shouldn't do it against these guys. Okay, 12 mana. Okay, well, hit the heavy fire guy. Taking a lot of damage. Not good enough. But pretty decent. Also, I'm looking for maybe a, a vampire we can get. That's a little bit. He also triggered Ignite. Oh, he's doing a stance. He is. If we kill this guy, maybe we can stun him and prevent his stand up. Uh, Okay, he's gonna die to fire. No, he's not gonna die to fire. God damn it. He's so damn close to dying to fire. But he's not gonna do that. He's not having that at all. Uh, we can wait. Oh no, we waited too much. It's not where we're gonna wait so much. Ah, <sighs> I don't know what to do. Well, killing an ally, that's not it. It's gonna be random. Will if you can murder the hammerer, that would be amazing. But, I don't know about that. Can we murder the hammerer? He's on fire. He is not going to die to the fire, but he could die to a slap or maybe a, even a flaming skull. Does he die to a flaming skull? He's taking pure uh, true damage, so even a flaming skull should take him out. Have a warm end, my friend. Uh, we can stun the. F First two. Oh shit, this guy needs to go for a, a big big shot. Actually we need to stun the first two. So he doesn't die. Oh my god, we're in big trouble. What am I supposed to do? <clears throat> This guy wants to go for a shout. Okay. First Opposing me. Oh, this looks bad. <laughs> Your last. Yeah. Oh no, he died to the fire. 
I could have saved them. I, I didn't realize he's gonna die to the fire. Towards my eternal kingdom. Well, at least we didn't lose the big guy. That that is something that I would would have probably reloaded. Because that's just such a dumb way to lose a minion. Each round of combat, I had to recover 12 uh, rats. Okay, fine. Cool. This one is use, uh, useless now. Uh, okay, go in there. We might use that. The Banshee needs to have a timeout. Put that in. Okay. We need a uh, position two for the big fight. Should it be like a? I'm I'm s missing a lot of zombies here. What happened to you guys? <laughs> oh man, zombies! What now? You guys were so cool. Not so much anymore, eh? Creating a uh, lost soul. <laughs> Lossal also died. What happened? We should have like a, a dead dead list. <laughs> Just to see all the... No, no, no. We have a Humanarium. I would like to see their abilities. I'll have the lame description. I'm not gonna read that. Someone has worked on it, but... I don't care. Okay. Uh, we need, I think, for them to lose Finally, all their accuracy. One-time use. I need a position two. I need a position two here. So this is position one. Position, uh, well, that's kind of like position two. We need a position three, actually. Do I need to create one from scratch? This is a position four. We're already using a position four. I, 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 I'm just gonna go with the Lich. Because that's something that we know works for sure. Okay, well, just make some minions, I guess. The skeleton can be used as a position three as well. Because these can be used in both positions. Only the Astounding Fortitude uh, is better in position 2, and of course, show them their place is uh, position 3, so they're all pretty good. Pretty good. I wouldn't mind going with two skeletons. But, let's just get... Let's just get a, a Bride here. Very high level stuff you're using with her. What about this guy? We can get one ward on him, two initiative, and two accuracy. I mean, this is kind of. Yeah, that's legendary. And considering we have this guy, he's pretty much as legendary as it gets. That's like whatever. Attack and luck. Yeah, but that we don't need that. Two evasion. So, like, purple, like, this has to be on this guy. Obviously. And uh, everything we replace it just gets destroyed. And I now have a lot of stuff. And maybe we're getting to the point where I can keep upgrading it. Maybe not. But getting close. Green is basically useless. We got... Regular bones. No. Two evasion. Wait, what? Rags. Oh wait, they give different stuff? I didn't realize that. So this is basically as... Well, it's not as, as good as it gets, but 
it, it's it's a little better. Attack and luck. That's pretty good for a for a damage dealer. <sighs> I don't want to lose any more. Can we just make it out of some random trash? Uh, one extra dead seems pretty good. I mean, okay, let's let's make a rate like this. Why do I get this sinking feeling in my putrefied oh, gut? Oh, we actually used two greens for it. Lich, mummy. Uh, I don't know about the banshee. I like the bride of uh, Eratus. Two dread and initiative like this is something we can uh, just avoid. I, I might just go with accuracy here if we are taking something specific. So that's decent. Attack and luck. I might want to just put this on something that it's not gonna die, but I guess these are all level 4s and she's gonna have a level 4 brain. Uh, a design from my younger years. Okay. We give her a level 4 brain. She's gonna get extra attack with fire. Extra attack with think of him and adore him. Now. Now, it would be really nice to not die, so I'm a little bit partial to just uh, Deadly Watch with the extra physical armor. It doesn't really help that much, but I mean, I guess it's not gonna hurt. So right now we have uh, 25 damage plus, well basically at this point we deal uh, 49 damage per shot. Which is pretty decent. So that's what we're gonna go with. We got the rate here, and I do like the rates. We can give him a level 3 intelligence, but that's actually not the best. That's maybe not good enough. Okay, we're using that. Oh, we can't use a vampire here? No, that's not a vampire. That kind of looks like a vampire, but it's not a vampire. Maybe that's a vampire hound. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> oh, we can use a vampire here for sure. Yeah, I need to get more vampires. That's for damn sure. Instead of killing people, I just need to turn them into vampires. Uh, something to keep in mind. Anyway, back to the dungeon. Uh, that's the boss fight. And we know there's like running away. Maybe from some fights. Uh, I don't know if the boss fight's included. Uh, choose a battle squad. Like, that's the best squad I got. If these guys die, I don't know what the fuck is gonna succeed. Is there a way to make this Dark Knight even better? Because, yeah, I mean, if there's a way, I mean, yeah, just, just do it. No, that's... Well, two evasion is basically useless. Yeah, I mean, no. Seems like no. And uh, they're gonna have less accuracy. Whatever, let's go. I mean, this is the best I could do. Alright guys, let's go. Please don't lose. One of the chief sponsors of the mining complex beneath the human castle. He does bears a be uh, great deal of responsibility for uh, freeing Eratus from his eternal prison. Not that any more would, uh, anyone would uh, dare remind him of this uh, fact, since his keen mind has been deemed invaluable by the alchemist guild. After all, few can actually calculate the precise amount of explosive power needed to clear a tunnel without uh, causing a cave-in. But now that he is personally forced to try to salvage this venture, he has turned his great intellect to far more warlike pursuits. Why do I feel like I'm the good guy here? I want to just kill and pillage and murder because I like it, okay? I don't want to be the good guy, zombies. I kind of feels that way. Okay, so defensive pylon. We need to somehow pull him forward, right? He's one damn tanky bastard. I need to smash his pylons so we can get him. Is he immune to pulls? 
Because if not, that's how we have to deal with him. Defensive pylon, supportive pylon. I just take out the offensive pylon. If possible. Dark Knight, you're awesome! I don't know if I wanna hit the pylon. We can just hit uh, the inventor. Wait, what? How did he resist the fire? Stuff happening pretty fast. How did he resist the fire? It was it the supportive pylon? I need to know. Should I go for adore him? I don't think the damage was the problem. Oh shit! He has thousand armor. Damage is the problem. Obviously, I'm not trying to take him out, but somehow. We need to work on his pylons. Not sure how, though. I mean, I can just keep smashing them. Okay, well, let's do something like that. Up your spine. This one is more defensive. This guy's the biggest fanboy. Well, I, I really want to make sure that she doesn't die. And everything wants her dead. Jesus Christ. Makes sense, but... You bastards. Okay, defensive pylon. Can we blow it up? Supportive pylon. Let's set it on fire. Oh no, it wouldn't work. Because it has... Oh man. Let's set this on fire. Or just shoot everything with a lot of damage. Savor these last few heartbeats. Okay, we can take out that pylon. But not with him. Actually, we can't take it out with Inhale him. Inhale this wretch. Oh, what? He took some damage? How? Good work, puppet. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, we can wait. No, no, no. She, she gets a buff. Uh, well, we can go for a regular attack. He's getting healed. It's gonna be a tough fight. I can tell already. He has infinite armor. Can I just take out that pylon? He's not that weak. 8 damage plus... Oh, actually his armor. Holy shit. He has a really good synergy with the, the guy buffing him. How much damage is this? 26? Half of... No, no, no. Most of 26. The fuck is this? This is crazy good. Look at this hit. I just keep buffing him. That's like a damage boost for him, plus making him invincible. Have 
a warm end, my friend. Oh my god. Let's boost the damage of uh, this guy. I think it's uh, the chick is going to die. But uh, <laughs> the knight is going to blow up everything with one shot. What a combo, I didn't even consider this. I'm just like put down a big bomb. Oh yeah, let's boost him again. How many times? Stacks up three times. Well, we already stacked up, stacked up three times. Uh, can I just stack it on him now? I don't know. It would be nice to take out some of these pylons now. Doesn't escape. The pylon is immune to all buffs and debuffs. The inventor loses 100 vigor for each destroyed pylon. Okay, very good. Good information. So we just need to keep trashing his pylons. Doesn't escape. Yeah, better not. Have a little tingle up your spine. Maybe just try to make sure that she stays alive. It's gonna be damn tricky. Most likely won't work. But hey, why not? How much damage are we dealing here? <clears throat> so we deal 15 base damage plus 75% of 46. How much is fucking that? I I'm kind of lazy to calculate that. It seems like a lot. I think we should be able to take out this defensive pylon up close. Become part of the breathless tide. Okay. They should take out the supportive pylon. Next, next chance it acts. Oh, it was not set on fire. Okay, uh, well, he's kind of useless, but maybe we're just gonna give some more armor. And that's gonna be nice. Oh yeah, let's make him more, deal more damage. He skips a turn. Oh my god! Oh, nice! All the buffs paid off. They're gonna die. Well, at this point, healing is totally optional for the knight. We just uh, wanna smack this big time. Based on armor. <laughs> oh man. Oh. He's actually gonna resist one strike. Okay, so we can do a, a bone spear Impale this wretch. and take out the supportive pylon. He just keeps taking damage now. Ooh. Well, we can't directly hit the inventor, so let's just hit the offensive pylon that cannot catch on fire, unfortunately. I think so. So let's go with chest piercer. The knight is the best. You got this knight. How many he summons? No, oh, he summons a full compliment all the time. Ah, uh, well the knight can heal, but maybe just like take out one of these. 
I mean, that's that's obviously an easy easy kill. No, oh, that's only 49 damage. That's lame, knights. What the hell are you doing? Impale this wretch. Oh. He's about to die. If you take out another pylon, we're gonna be good. There's not much he can do. He can go for a regular attack against the pylon. This one is more vulnerable. Oh, he even missed. What a loser. We need a crit. Please let me crit. He's not gonna take a damage. Actually, he might. I don't know, I don't think so. Oh my god, wanna crit. <laughs> Holy shit, you survived! Humanarium token. We also found a blue chest plate. Smoking gun. Wow. Tough fight. Two talent points. Let's do it. We... Iratus gains 10% chance to stun enemies. He damages with destruction spells. I do that quite a bit. But is that like a one-time use thing? So, talents. And I'm kind of... Yeah, I'm kind of committing to the destruction tree here. We want to go to Skullfall. So, three more talents uh, to get to there. And the Lich upgraded. Now we have access to the ultimate, which is summon a skeleton, summon a skeleton, and summon a skeleton, but a little bit better one. I think this just summons a permanent skeleton, or I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to do. Cheap bodies. This gives us more... This gives us a block. I think a block is possibly better. I don't know. Uh, they, they are both okay. I, I think this gives us a better skeleton. I think this gives a permanent skeleton maybe. I don't know. Cheap bodies. 65. Actually this costs more and this costs less. So, but you know when you're missing a, a guy, no that doesn't really matter too much. So Dark Resurrection is the way to go. I expect Dark Knight level seven maximum. And at this point, the best option is just simply go with uh, more armor, obviously, because why not? He is as good as it can uh, get, and he is just ridiculously good. I had doubts about going for the death comes for everyone instead of uh, Edge of Abyss, but holy shit! It's a crazy combo with the skeleton. Oh my god, so good! <gasps> ah, that's fine, I mean, we, can, we can heal with that. But that's not even the main thing. <laughs> skeleton just like, it gives, it gives him damage and armor. I don't think you can lose at that point, and he can also heal. Okay, we can gain uh, damage. Wait, what do we have here? Inflicts critical hits. Physical attack deals 80% damage. I think this is just straight up better this way. And we gain more armor. So, less chance to die. Which is just the main problem <laughs> with the Bride of Iratus. So, yeah, let's do that. My enemies let's are try in not to die. I don't like the shield banger here. Stress attack. Removes all buffs from the targets. I mean, that, at least that's something. I mean, this ability is not super strong, I guess. This doesn't cost as much. Enemies will either go insane or become inspired. Oh, man. That's so RNG. I, don't, I hate it. Okay, we can get more attack here. Interrupt stances. What? Oh. We deal a little bit more damage. And we get uh, extra initiative. 
And here we stun the target. Well, we need to interrupt the stances. Does it, does it still interrupt the stance? I guess. This ignores armor and block. It, this doesn't miss. I mean, that's kind of fine. If you're struggling with the uh, missing targets, if the thing is, I think this is better. And I'll and I will argue why. Although resistance seems pretty uh, tempting. Because if you're dealing with block, we would most likely just spam smite on it. Not strictly for the skeleton, but for everybody else involved, so they can get through it. And, uh, well, the sudden strike would give us a way to hit through block and armor. But most likely that's not how we want to play it. Even though I think this might be better than that, although accuracy is kind of important. And ignores armor and doesn't miss. Doesn't miss is, is quite niche. But maybe if you're dealing with enemies that are hard to hit. So with this, we can hit enemies that are extremely tanky and hard to hit. I mean, okay, fine. I don't I don't like this, but we might want to go for this anyway, purely because it gives us armor and magic armor, uh, which is a quite an okay upgrade for uh, a, me a frontliner. So with this and the buff from the uh, the Iratus, the leader, his armor is going to be seven, which is respectable. So I I think we're going to go with with the. Uh, Dismissive banger. Get back. Just to, to get battle. armor. And that's it. Yeah, just go to the graveyard. She already leveled up, but like yeah, I don't know. They just die. And this doesn't get any stronger, there's no way to buff it up to any stronger than a 5 if you go for that approach. This seems to be like, Banshee is an excellent choice if you're somehow trying to take out the enemy with Dread. But obviously that doesn't work for all scenarios. I think mana is more valuable than uh, Rat. But this is also super situational. So upgrading it is just uh, a bit dodgy. But standing in the front line with Banshee, it seems like a no-go. Unless there's something else that I'm missing. Uh, could be a thing, but I don't know what could be. Ignores ward. Banshee gains one block and one ward while in this state. But in order for this to work, the enemies would need to move. And they don't. I think this should be like a permanent buff for the Banshee, or maybe I'm not getting it. It seems more of like a combo character. Like this might work with other that force uh, movement. And then you can just chill in the back and stress people out. But also stress is a little bit useless without, you know, like maybe massing it. So again, at the same time, I don't know. I'm not getting it. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, 50% chance to skip their next turn. Uh, that's a lot better to affect the uh, ones in the front. And that's the main ability. And I think that's a pretty good ability. Serve me well, my minion. But at the same time... I don't know. How do you survive? You don't. There, there are ways to improve the Banshee in the skill tree, but I don't, I don't know if that's gonna be enough. So we can take these out. Obviously put in at least these two. And actually these need to take a, take a time out as well. So that's a position 4. That's a position 3. Is that, is that a position 4? Uh, this is a position 4 mummy. And uh, that's just a dumb skeleton. This is a position 2 banshee. We definitely need a position 1 here. I lost one. God damn it. 
I need to buy uh, just a knight. Creation. Wait, we got a headhunter. Oh, yeah. Because I did my second boss, we, can, we got a headhunter. Uh, do I want to make it out of uh, armor and accuracy? Just uh, fancy stuff? Maybe? Let's do it. He seems to do uh, a lot of damage. Okay, let's just see the headhunter first. Then decide if he actually need uh, a tank. He deals a lot of damage. And he has some armor. Nothing else. And a pretty good initiative, but uh, low HP. It does seem like he's okay. But only against physical hits. Physical attacks. Attacks to random enemies, dealing... Ooh, random? Oh my god. Well, that's a lot of damage. So... 44, 22... It seems like he deals 44 damage. Just straight up physical damage. To two random enemies. Dual slash. He's, he's a little bit like a berserker, right? Forty-four is not bad, and that's unupgraded. Looks he looks to be a position two so far. Uh, deals, yeah, yeah. The same amount of damage to the chosen target and the enemy standing behind it. Wow, that's good. So the randomness element is completely removed, and we get some extra accuracy. Fucking yes, this is a good good upgrade. Attacks two random enemies, dealing uh, same amount of damage to each. Has a 5% chance of immediately kill an enemy. Bosses are immune. Yeah, the thing is, this is probably a better upgrade. Because the 5% chance to kill, like, you know, that, that could work out big time. But, you know, you might just end up hitting a uh, uh, physical immune uh, with a physical immune. And you kind of fucked up. <laughs> so, dual cruelty... In that way is just just better. Although it hits two random enemies out of the three up front, so the RNG involved is not as high because it's always two out of three. It's not that bad, and four percent five percent chance to immediately kill an enemy. I don't know. That might be actually acceptable RNG for 5% chance of instantly uh, winning the fight. Uh, twice. Physical attack deals uh, pretty good damage again, same amount of damage. Uh, this time it's 22. To a random enemy, and moves it to the first position. Ignores block. Pretty good. Uh, it's a position 1, 2, 3 move. Wait, random enemy? Random enemy? Oh man. Deals, uh, yeah, to a random enemy, has a 50% chance to stun the target, moves the... This is like the RNG guy of the game. <laughs> oh, man. The flesh, oh, man. The spirit. Yeah. He's strong, but he's so RNG. <laughs> oh, man. Ignores block. So basically the same thing, but the chance to stun. Oh, this is this is not RNG anymore. <laughs> but yeah. <gasps> oh man, <clears throat> stress attack deals uh, a, sh a lot of stress damage to a random enemy. Although that's just one enemy. Oh, deals deals. Uh, okay, pretty good. So, 18 of average stress damage to two random guy guys, or how, how much is that? Uh, 31-ish something? I don't know. The uh, same amount. The target loses evasion until the end of the battle. Wow, RNG? Uh, I don't know. Trap, mark selected position at the beginning of his next action. The headhunter deals a shit ton of damage <laughs> uh, to an enemy at the marked position. The attack doesn't spend an action. Wait, what? 
Oh yeah, of course. I mean, it's just an automatic at the start of next turn. So it's a delayed attack. The headhunter doesn't miss the attack. Okay. And it deals... How much damage is that? Uh... 41? Although, we can just use this. That's 44, right? Am I wrong about this? I think it's 44. This is 41. I mean, this attacks two guys, but this attacks whoever is at the mark position. And we go back a little bit. Oh, that, that could be actually bad. Because... Well... This, this is something that you can use from the back. And this is also delayed. Uh, I'd like to do a slash a lot more. <clears throat> uh, deals... Okay. Physical damage. 14 damage to everybody. That's actually quite strong. And uh, physical attack deals a lot of damage to one guy at Ignor's block. Well, he's a physical damage dealer that can be used on... Well, even the back position, it's kind of like the trap zombie, the artillery zombie in a way, with this uh, seeding wrath, but it's it's better uh, if you want to do that. But mostly he's a physical attacker, and maybe do a slash uh, using the second position would be the best idea, but we can also play safe with him. He has a few ways to gain armor. But he's not very tanky. He's just a damage dealer, obviously. Do we have a brain for him? So we have a 40 IQ brain for this guy. But we're still gonna need a tank. And the Banshee's not it. <laughs> and not at all. And he's definitely not it. He's just a damage dealer. Although, pretty decent damage. I have to say. I think we might just go for the Vorpo Slash. Even though it might be a bad idea. I'm just... I just want to try it out. Ignores block. Ignores block. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this so much. I expect results. If I use it, it's going to be RNG. <laughs> Uh, getting some physical armor would be pretty okay. Stress attack, uh, let's not do that. We can just up our physical armor quite a bit. Wait, what? Oh. Did I read the other options here? Okay, same amount of damage. The attacked enemy loses all block and, and wards. Ooh, that's pretty good. So this could be a good opener on uh, a guy who is just who's really hogging the blocks and wards. This is very good. The attacked enemy loses all armor and resistance until the battle ends. Holy shit! That's so good! Oh my god. They're so good. I don't know. Oh my god. Really? I can't choose. Can I pick both? Because they're both amazing. Wait. Can this action be blocked? Doesn't miss the attack. But it doesn't say, like, can it be blocked? What if it gets blocked? Right? Can it just not get blocked? It doesn't miss the attack, but it doesn't say about the beginning of the next action. The headhunter deals damage, deals the enemy target. Yeah, yeah, other doesn't spend an action, and the headhunter doesn't miss the attack. Okay, but it doesn't say about not being able to get blocked. So this attack might get blocked, except if it's an intimidating rage. I, I suspect in this case, the attack enemy will lose the blocks and wards when he gets attacked. In this case, 
He loses the armor and resistance. I you think have the honor of receiving this is just ridiculously good. Unbelievable. But it's also delayed. And that it, it's it's a it's probably not as good as it looks. What is this? Oh yeah. Deal 14 damage to each enemy. Or deal what the fuck? Even more damage to each enemy? I mean, I I I won't argue with that. Wait, what? Deal 33 to 63 damage to a random enemy. Really? That's That's 48 points of damage to a random enemy. That's pretty good. Well, compared to that, dual slash is like who cares? But this also has a chance of insta killing, so that's pretty good. <laughs> it's still okay. And with this... What? What the hell is this? I mean, come on. 16 point... F no, this is like... This is like 60 damage. Overall. So, like, it's it's not as... Well, this is, this is the best. This is obviously the best and also gives us attack. Wow. Which is, Ooh, again, so gonna make us even better. What the fuck? I don't know. I'm just I'm just going crazy over this shit. And look at that. We ha get a physical attack here. If we go this way, we also get more physical attack. Which is just insane. I don't know. He just has insane stuff. This guy looks super strong. It, but also super RNG. <laughs> And maybe we need to be super careful here. I don't know if you want to use him as like a hooker. But that's an option. Stress damage. Uh, target loses all evasion until the end of the battle. Oh my god. I mean, that's a pretty good utility. Even though we have to use a, like a Markham. But imagine if we have a, like a guy who has like crazy high evasion. Well, I don't care. You don't have any more. So this goes back and and yeah that's just an option something something rats so we can just go bloody harvest and we can also s slide back with seating rats if we want to go and start in the back we can just do bloody harvest which seems like a good opener on uh, the entire field at the beginning of his next action, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is just stupid. <laughs> it's just so stupidly good. Enemy loses all blocks and wards. <laughs> the enemy loses all armor and resistance until the battle ends. So we couldn't do that uh, against the boss because it would have broken the fight because he would have lost all armor and resistance and he would have had zero instead of uh, maximum. Intimidating Rage does have an advantage here, is that, you know, if some kind of warded enemy walks into this massive damage, then we're still not gonna get screwed over, which is a realistic possibility. And we can also play him pretty safe, we can just Blood Harvest, Blood Harvest, Seeding Wrath, Blood Harvest. So, that's pretty safe. But also, just go do a smash with him. So, this is gonna give him a pretty good uh, versatility. Results. I don't know where to st start with him because he honestly would be the best starting at position 4 and just going up and up and up. Then just goes to position 3, position 2. And this is at... Uh, yeah, this just goes back. So, I mean, that that's just that. But we still need a position 1. Position 1 is the main tanker, who just takes all the damage. And I think that's gonna be the... the I, I still don't have anyone better than the Dark Knight for it. So let's get the Dark Knight. Unfortunately, we don't have a big brain for him. So we're gonna go with Peanut Brain. But even Peanut Brain is going to be good enough, I feel like.
Uh, well, we can go with mana. My Extra mana generation. For a nasty surprise. And, uh... Well, kind of both works. We can go for more armor. This has a better synergy with armor stacking. And this... I don't know. This is just a little bit more damage on its own. And of course, a little bit more tanky. Get back to battle. Alright, Dark Knight, I think you're good to go. And this is the team right now, exactly with this lineup. I don't think we can... Well, we can put in some uh, units. Or upgrades. These are just too bad. Ah, <sighs> mummy and uh, a banshee. But they're just getting the XP, but I I'd never want to take them, so it's tough. I would just want extra vampires. That's what we have to pay attention to. Is that we when we get extra vampires? Yeah, we just just do that. And uh, yeah, wait, can I just get extra bounty hunters? Wait, can I craft them? I can craft extra headhunters. Uh, just just do it like that. I have a sneaking suspicion that in the graveyard it's required for something. No. Yes. So we can start with rat at the end of the at the start of the battle. I don't know what that is. Is this a... No, that's not a headhunter. But that's a headhunter. And that's not a headhunter either. That is a headhunter too. So we can gain more experience. And that's not a vampire. I just make another headhunter. Just like that. One could call this one the uh, strong silent type. Hmm? I don't know what I want. I can just put in a dumb filler into this statue. Or a boat of rats. I need more vampires. So the Skelly's gonna just chill here. We're gonna get extra rat at the start of the battle. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go like that. What about you, we rate? You just do nothing. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. That's not a well. We need we need more vampires. That's for sure. Hopefully, this is gonna be, not suck completely. Uh, this lineup. I can wait with the units I got. They are fine. We just need to keep going. But yeah, this episode uh, was uh, pretty long already. And next up, it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret even to me. So, see you guys and uh, have a good one.